So some of the stuff coming up uh, over the next uh, month. Um, but there is going to be a working group established at the Canada Summer Games that, you know, talk about Indigenous participation. And later today, I'm going to be meeting with the CEO of the Games to start talking about that. On uh, Saturday, October 12th, the Youth Council is holding a Thanksgiving dinner at the Community Hall from 12 to 4. Uh, if people are interested, it's going to be on a first come, first serve. Uh, October 17th, uh, I'm going to be touring the forensic unit in Toronto with the Six Nations Police. Well, I'm not sure if I can make it, but there is a tour arranged for them. And that's further to the news we received that the forensic unit in Hamilton is going to be closed. So we said we want to see what the new one looks like. October 17th, I've, the regional chief has asked me as well to represent the Chiefs of Ontario uh, at the Right to Play Gala in Toronto. Uh, so I've agreed to do that. Next Friday, October 18th, Grand River Employment and Training is having a career fair at the Gathering Place. And that evening, there is going to be a film at the Community Hall, or a concert actually, at the Community Hall. It's called Great Art for Great Lakes, Premier Performance of Song for the Water. It's going to be featuring Logan Stotts. And that's going to start at 7 p.m. on October 18th, and that's, I think, free to everybody. October 19th, I have been invited by Mike Downey to attend the Downey Wenjack concert in Toronto at Roy Thompson Hall. That's being coordinated by Mike Downey and um, Buffy St. Marie, and it's to commemorate, again, the Secret Path and the residential school survivors. The mayor of Brantford's having a gala the same night, and uh, Councillor Audrey Hollis Bombry is going to attend that. October 20th will be our annual Veterans Day celebration here at Six Nations. It'll be in Veterans Park at noon. If anybody wants to lay a wreath on behalf of a late family member, I would suggest you get in touch with Vera Montour, who is organizing that part of it. Um, October 22nd to 23rd, our Lands and Resources Department will be holding a National Lands Research Directors Conference here at the Gathering Place. And that's going to be followed on the 24th by a specific claims conference, which is being hosted by the Assembly of First Nations. So there'll be a lot of people here from across the country. October 22nd, there will be the grand opening of Imagine Native Festival in Toronto. Uh, I've been asked to come there and uh, provide some uh, opening remarks. October 24th, the uh, Duad Desne uh, Health Centre will be holding its annual fundraising gala in Hamilton at Michelangelo's. And on the 25th, our early learner staff will be at the Peace Conference, annual Peace Conference, which this year is being held in London. They've invited me to join them again this year. And October 27th, uh, we'll have a representative from the Hamilton Tiger Cats here in our community. He's going to be down at the Warrior Park Athletic uh, Park down by Skylight, and they're going to be presenting them with a donation. Uh, that's uh, thanks to Mike Hill, who's, who's really done a lot of work on that Warrior Park. October 29th and 30th, there will be a justice conference at New Credit. Uh, they've asked me to come in the morning and say some rem opening remarks, and there'll be a lot of people who are involved with the justice system that will be there. I then have to head up to University of Waterloo for um, a Board of Governors meeting that's going to be held. November 1st and 2nd, there is a language conference. It's called the Sweet Grass Language Conference, which is being held at Aquasusney. November 1st is also Random Act of Kindness Day, so we need to be kind to everybody that day and, and do some pay it forward. And November 1st is also in the evening, the night of our fifth annual Firefighters Gala. Um, it's almost sold out. I, I, I would actually say it probably is sold out. There's a couple of tables, but I think they're being held for people. So it's going to be a good turnout. November 2nd is Think of That Day, Think of That Ceremony at Assumption College in uh, Brantford. And there's a new friendship center that's opened up in Branford. It's called the Branford Regional Indian Services Center. And they're having their official launch on uh, November 2nd at 4 p.m. And that's going to be a fall feast and a social at the Branford Civic Center Auditorium. And on the 4th of November, the National YMCA Board of Directors will be in our area. And they're going to be coming down to Six Nations to tour uh, Beyond the Bell program, which has been run by the Y in our community for a number of uh, years now. November 5th and 6th, there will be an Iroquois caucus meeting in Ottawa. On November 8th, uh, we'll be having a quarterly lunch that we have between myself, the MP, the MPP, Will Boomer, uh, for Brant County, and the mayors of Brant County and Brantford. Of course, our elections are November 9th. And then on election night at 7, I think after all the election stuff is over, 
There's a concert at the gathering place called Creative Native. It's featuring Buffy St. Marie and also some of our young uh, artists that will be taking part. November 11th is Remembrance Day. Our, uh, there'll be a number of ceremonies going on uh, across the country, and including I'll be taking part in the one in Brantford. And on November 12th, uh, uh, my last uh, uh, event as the chief will be as an honorary chair at the 100th anniversary of Hart House, which is part of the University of Toronto. So that's it. And then November 12th and 13th as well, we're going to be having our pet wellness days. There's a spay neuter clinic and a rabies clinic that's going to be at the community hall. And lastly, there's um, dog food days, they're calling it. If you've got a pet dog or a cat, there's one bag of dog food and one bag of cat food. Uh, it can be handed out on a first come, first served basis if it's available. This is being done on the third Friday of every month from 9 a.m. to 12 noon at the animal shelters. Animal Control Shelter at 2470 Fourth Line, which is our landfill. So that was it. And, and just to close off, congratulations to, uh, I don't have any specific congratulations this month, but I'm sure there's some out there that I'm just not aware of. Uh, congratulations particularly to our young people who continue to excel and achieve in, in their chosen areas. And also condolences to those who may have lost loved ones in the past month. Our thoughts and prayers are with you. Yeah, well.